In this video, I'm going to show you how to set additional variation images and videos to your WooCommerce variable product. By default, WooCommerce only gives you the option to set one featured image per variation. So I'm going to show you how you can set multiple images and videos per variation. With that said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is download the WooCommerce additional variation image by WooSuite. Once you've done that, let's head over to our dashboard. So I've already installed the WooSuite core plugin. You want to go ahead and activate your license key. Then once you've done that, navigate over to add-ons. And then here we'll see this additional variation image plugin. You want to click install. And once you've installed it, you can go ahead and toggle this option on. So before we go into any settings, let me quickly show you how my WooCommerce store look without adding any variation images. So here you, you can see we've got a variable product. So we've got different colors and different sizes. And as I said, we've only got the one featured image. So with this plugin, we'll be able to add multiple images and videos. Okay, so let's head back to our settings area and then let's refresh this page and we should see a manage link here. Okay, so now that we've refreshed our page, we can see this manage link here, which will take you to the settings page. You'll also see an additional menu option here, which says additional variation images. This will also take you to the setting page. Now we're on the settings page. Here we can see a few preset option. So by default, I'm going to leave everything as default for now. And then let's head back over to our product page. We will come back to this section here if we need to tweak anything. So let's click edit product. And for this example, I'm just going to edit um, the blue variation of this product. Okay, so we navigate to variation here. And then here you can see our variation that we've set up on the front end. So I'm going to select the blue size for large. And then here you can see this extra option, which says add gallery images. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm just going to upload my images. OK, so I've got four images here for this blue variation. So I'm going to add all of these to the gallery. If we want to add a video to any one of these um, images, we can do so here. So let's get one from YouTube quickly. So you can use YouTube Vimeo or you can use a self-hosted video. You just want to paste the URL here and it should work fine. So let's get one from YouTube and then I'll join you back over here. Okay, I've got my YouTube video. So for this particular image, I'm going to set a video. So we just paste in our YouTube link here. And then we can just click add images and in here you can see our images which we've added to this blue variation the process is exactly the same for all our different variation as i said i'm just going to do it for this blue variation so now let's just hit um, save changes and then we want to hit update product okay now that it's updated let's hit view product okay and now let's select our blue variation Okay, and perfect. Here you can see our additional images here. Now we can just swipe through or do it this way. And if you can remember, we added a video to this image here. And we can play the video right from here as well. And that's how we add additional variation images within WooCommerce. So currently, um, by default, everything's working perfectly. We don't need to change anything, but let's quickly head back to the settings area and see what options there. are. So we've got the thumbnail item. So how many thumbnail do we want to show by default? Currently we're showing um, four. We could set this to three if we wanted to, or between two and eight um, thumbnail gaps. So let's add a gap of four. So if you can see, where are we? If you can see here, there, there aren't any gaps in between the product images. So I'll just set this to four. Um, gallery width, um, I'll leave it to 100%, seeing as it's displaying perfectly. Again, these are the different 
gallery width and various devices. So everything looks fine there. And let's hit save changes. Let's just have a look at the thumbnail gap. And then let's refresh this page. And then let's select our blue and large. And then here you can see the thumbnail gap. So that looks nice as it is. I'll leave it just like that. That's perfect. Let's head back to our settings area. We can click on configuration. Okay, and here we can set our gallery to autoplay. You can set the play speed. Here we've opted to show the arrows. So if you can remember here, we've got the arrows so the user can scroll through. Um, we can enable, a lot of these are self-explanatory. We can enable the gallery pop-up, um, thumbnail slide if we want the thumbnails to slide. Um, a thumbnail position, currently we've set it to the bottom. We can set it to the left or right also. Let's try the left and see how that looks. Let's save changes. And then let's refresh our product page. And then let's select this blue variation, large and perfect. As you can see, it's displaying just as it should on the side here, on the left hand side, you can set it to the right also or at the bottom, like how we had it. Um, advanced, let's check out the settings here. Okay, so if you wanted, you can disable the additional images for various product types. So single product, group products, affiliate product, variable products, and so on. We can set the thumbnail width here as well. And then we've had the option as well to also to reset the gallery after a variation has been selected. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. The link to this particular plugin is in the description below or visit woosuite.com. Let me know in the comments below how many images you plan to use per variation.